As an old-fashioned plumber, I was brought up with a blow lamp and a reel of solder, so I came relatively late to the art of press fittings. And to tell you the truth, initially I was put off because I looked at the price of the tool, I looked at the price of the fittings, and the blow lamp and solder was cheaper. But once I tried press fit fittings, I found that not only were they quicker, cleaner and easier, I also found I didn't get any leaks and I didn't set fire to anything, which has got to be a bonus. So have I abandoned my blow lamp and solder? Well, not quite because, you know, I'm stuck in my old ways, but there's times when I use push fit, there's times when I use compression, and there's times when I use solder. But what I've now found is that with these press fit fittings, the Cooper Fit from Cabralco coming down in price to the point where they're actually cheaper than compression and they're cheaper than push fit, well, they've just become my go-to fitting. So let's be honest, press fit does require some upfront investment, not least because of the tool and the heads, but because more and more people are using it, competition is beginning to kick in and the price is coming down. And a perfect example of this is the Z-Press tool from Zappa. Now this is a competitively priced tool and it works on bathroom fittings, boiler rooms, and underfloor heating, to name but a few. And it takes only seconds to make a leak-free connection. Guaranteed. Now a lot of people use press fit just for copper, but I really like it because you can switch between copper and underfloor plastic. So for my kind of jobs where I'm doing quite a lot of underfloor heating, it's ideal. This is a cordless tool and it comes with two batteries and a charger in the kit. Nice and compact, nice and lightweight. And importantly, it's designed to release when the fitting is pressed to the correct amount. So if it doesn't release, that means it's not pressed. It's a professional tool used by engineers. Now this kit comes with three different size heads, the 15 mil, the 22 mil, and the 28 mil. So I'll just show you with the 22 mil how easy it is to set up. Swapping the heads over is just a simple matter of releasing the pin, popping the head in, either way around, it doesn't matter, pushing the pin back, turning it round till it clicks, and that is now ready to go. So let's just go through the stages for those of you who are not familiar with press fit. The first thing is to key the joint correctly, which is basically putting it in. We've got an O-ring in here on the inside, so it's important to keep your fittings clean, keep them in some kind of container so you're not getting lots of grit. It's the same as you would with a, a push fit fitting. So we've got that ready to go, so what I like to do is put a little witness mark there because that way round, I can always tell if something's starting to drift out, but they're fairly nice when they go in, they stay in position. So if you wanted to get it over the fitting, onto there, pressed up against the shoulder nicely, and then you simply press the trigger and you hear it go, it's released. When it's released, you can undo the jaws and that is your fitting made absolutely perfectly and secure. Now the interesting thing about press fit as opposed to push fit is that it locks the orientation of the fitting. So that's great because it means they're not swiveling around all over the place. I really like that. And if I'm pre-assembling fittings, all I do is simply put a mark on there, a mark on there so I can line them all up if you've got the orientation of a T or something like that. So what you'll find is that these are M profile fittings and an M profile jaw. That's important that you match them up and you get the right ones. But if you buy the tool and you stick to Cupra fit, you'll be absolutely fine. Put a mark there and also a mark here because I want them lined up. Everything's in line. That's it. So if you don't know Zappa, they're a company that specializes in press fit tools and also expanders and benders. They sell in over a hundred countries and they've got UK support for warranty, for maintenance, for servicing and for the registration of the tool. Now these tools and the fittings are available from independent plumbers merchants and online. Now each one of these heads is good for 10,000 presses, which is the same as other manufacturers. Now what happens with the heads after that is that the hinges have started to wear, they become a little bit slack and they need replacing, just the hinges that is, in order 
to guarantee the security of the joint. Now the Zpress website allows you to book for servicing, for recalibration, and for the registration of the tool as well as other services. So it's a great idea, you can book them in to be serviced when you're on holiday. So you're probably asking, how many presses can you get on each charge? Well, on average, it's got to be about 300 cycles. You also get a second battery supplied with a tool in the handy carry case. So I've done a bit of 22 and now I want to change over to do some 15, say. So I simply take the pin, pull the head off, get the new head, pop that in, push the pin back in, turn it round, click it down and we're ready to go again. So if you press this trigger slightly, you'll find that it's actually started the sequence. So at that point, you won't be able to open the heads because they're already beginning to do the pressing action. So what you do then is you just run the thing through until it releases, and then you can open up the heads fully to put them on the fitting. So you can see that press fit is obviously faster than soldering, but I don't get too hung up on speed because there isn't a guy standing behind me with a stopwatch and a clipboard. What I'm really interested in is leak-free joints, and that way I don't get any callbacks because that's where the money disappears down the drain. Now you can see I've been doing this demonstration on a bench, but we don't work on benches. Plumbers work in hard to reach places. So it's essential that you have a small lightweight tool that still delivers the power. Now the head rotates, which obviously helps you get where you need to, but I've also heard that there are some developments in the pipeline, excuse the pun, which will mean that you'll get into even tighter spaces. So watch this space. So just one tip for anybody that's not done press fitting before, if you're clipping your pipes, make sure that you leave enough distance between the pipes to get these jaws in. So if you're doing something like a boiler installation, for instance, there's plenty of room between the pipes to get these jaws in. What I now want to do is go out on site and see a plumber that I know that uses press fit all the time. In fact, he's got four guys working for him and they use almost nothing but press fit. And he's tried a lot of different machines over the years. So if he doesn't know, nobody does. So what I want to do is put this tool in his hands. I just want to get his honest opinion of what he thinks of the Z-Press tool. Now this plumber happens to use the same independent merchant as me, which is why I know that he uses a lot of press fit fittings. So they sell a huge range of the press fit fittings. And these tools are also available through the independent merchants. So we're here with Jamie and Jamie is a big fan of press fit. Yeah, you've been using it for a while. Yeah, two years now. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We're doing the uh, water, gas, air conditioning and the MLCP. Okay, so you've got the plastic pipe. The plastic pipes, what, what different are you called? Set, Alpex stuff. Alpex, yeah, the, uh, yeah. It's about five layers. Yeah. Uh, the Also the... Uh, That's in 16 mil, yeah? 16, 26, I think it's 32. It goes right up to two inch sizes. This machine, the Rothenberger, only goes up to 35 mil. When you do your air conditioning stuff, is that yep. different jaws? Different jaws, a whole new set of jaws, all imperial, because it all comes from America, refrigeration stuff originally. Uh, and the, obviously their own fittings. And, and also for the, the Alpex pipe, you've got to use a different yep. jaw for that. And, but there's multi different types of jaws. There's T, TF that I, or TH I'm using. Yeah. Uh, and then M press, but there's other. Got it. For different fittings, I think different fittings use different. But we can do Walter and gas with the M press. Different fittings again, we've got the yeah. yellow seal yeah. in them. It's the same style of fitting, what you've got here, Roger, so we can give that a crimp up on our fittings that we've got yeah. here. I know you've gone for the Rothenberger because you want the reliability. Well, I went for the Rothenberger as well because it did the refrigeration as well. Ah, oh, okay, yeah. So I wasn't, uh, I wasn't sure that the. Uh, the other branded models did that. Yeah. But has it been all right for you? It did break down on the second job. Did it really? Yeah. Get a couple of fittings. What we are there, Mum? In the tight corner, so if you can mark them as well. Yeah. So we got to make sure that nothing. Orientation. No witness mark. You mean to make yeah. sure it hasn't full slipped insertion. out? Yeah. Yeah. Full yeah. 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 It's always pace, especially yeah. if you're doing. On the refrigeration stuff, there is a guide that actually sits sits onto the pipe and you mark it. Oh, okay. So it does. So you know exactly yeah. where you are with it. But obviously with the refrigeration, we do deburr everything. Yeah. Let's try this, so just one press, I guess. Little snap of that green lined up. Jobs are good. That's that. Right. 
does seem less bulkier. It, it the, seems li slightly lighter, is it? Yeah, sort of a, a different balance. Yeah. Some of the price of this stuff is coming down now. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's equivalent to a, like a press fit. Push fit. Push fit. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, JG and all that. Yeah. And I think you've got a bit more durability. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. It looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. We have you to know. obviously use compression fittings when we're going into yeah. different valves and fittings. Yeah, you've got adapters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we used to call them copper to irons, but that's right. Yeah. What about service on this? I know Rothenberg has got... Yeah, well, they've got their own UK service agents. You're still using your blow lamp, are you, or not? I reckon we've gone probably 95% press now. Really? Yeah, because we work in hospitals as well. They don't like hot, hot works. Works, no, no. Uh, they do allow us hot works, because sometimes when you're brazing a big pipe on a roof, we need lots of heat and stuff. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah uh, that's big stuff. Um, you set the blooming smoke alarms off, don't you? Yeah, the yeah, they do blow them. disable them, but they, they're quite happy now when we turn up with the press and they go, oh, it's yeah. nice, no hot yeah. works. Far away. Stuck a bit of oil on there. Right. Feels like it crimps as good as the... Yeah. yeah. No real difference. No. I've been told they're going to come up with an even smaller one, apparently. They've got something in the... They'll call it the pipeline, if you look yeah. excuse the pun. We pressure test up to about 40 bar on the air conditioning. Do side. you? Yeah. So Blimey. The, the, press, the fittings hold up. If you've never used press fit, you've got to get confidence in it. But it's exactly the same problem as with push fit plastic. People just yeah. went, oh, I'm not going to use that. And then bit by bit, people say, do you know what? It's all right. You can do some of this out yeah. position, if you can do it in position, but some parts you want to do it as long as you mark it. That's what I say, you're going to put a little mark on. If you mark all on that, and then there's no reason why we can't take this bit out, crimp that 45 into the T, Got crimp it. that on, and just leave our two there. See what I do like about this is that it locks in. You're not like if you use push fit when you go to it's put a pipe slice on, yeah. it's spinning, isn't it, yeah. on you? And you're just trying to put yeah. some grips on it to. So it's quite nice. So the job you did this morning, it was a, a combi boiler, but we retrofitted uh, some underfloor heating on it. So we had to put a zone valve in it and just alter the controls mm. into the boiler. Yeah. Uh, put some extra stats in, but they're happy with it. Yeah, yeah. I'm Phil from uh, PJR Boilers Plumbing and Heating. Today we're doing an underfloor heating system with connecting the flow and returns up. Going to be using press fit today. Not heard of this make before. It looks nice. It's quite compact. You'd easily be able to slip that in between pipes quite closely clipped together. Uh, I like the fact that it's got this little groove here. You can pop your fitting inside there and obviously you're never going to miss the spot. Also got how many times you've used it as well, which is good because I'm assuming that these pincers have got a lifespan on them. Let's give it a go. Yeah, very good. I'm impressed. Can I keep it? <laughs> you can have it at a discount. <laughs> <laughs> Still use a blow lamp, but I have come round to the idea of using press fit. I used solder in my apprenticeship days, but it's, it's messy. You get a leak, you've got to drain the system out. And also you need a hot works permit for that. Push fit's good, but it's quite bulky and you don't have space sometimes to be able to fit that into areas that you want to get into. So using press fit fittings, they've come down in price quite a bit. Um, so I always find them as a, actually to be honest, a cheap alternative. Using press fit a few weeks ago actually, I forgot to do an elbow. It wasn't a gusher, but uh, got the tool on it, clamped it up. I like the groove on there as well, so you can't go wrong. You know, you, you put the fitting into the pipe, you clamp, get the clamp ready to go around it, and you can't go wrong with it because there's grooves already inside, so you press the button, it clamps it in, it lets you know when it's done. I was a bit nervous about using it for gas, um, but after I'd used it on waterways and other bits and pieces for few weeks I decided to give it a go and have a look back. Mark the pipe up you get your x and y dimensions obviously that gives you uh, as you when you push your your pipe into your fitting you have a degree of tolerance so we push that in I usually get quite a few done at once and using the z press you can zip around quite quickly there's no mess as I said before there's no, there's no solder or anything to in flux to worry about so you can just zip round use the z press on it yeah, to be honest that's the job um, and I'm not really worried about anything other than the cost it's definitely quicker I'm really looking forward to using this tool moving forward.